What's the most frustrating thing in Helldivers 2? For me, it's getting kicked because my teammates don't understand the game. They act as if they do, and they refuse to take any advice or suggestions on how things could work better, and so they just kick you because you're the problem. It's not them, even though they've died about four or five times and the game just started. Can't be them, it's gotta be you. This is an example of that. And as I explain, I urge you, share this video with folks that don't know how retrieve essential personnel missions work. <laughs> That timing worked out for me. Six or seven dropships just went to my location and not the objective. Buying people on the objective, tons of time. Give them breathing room and they can now clear out the folks that are there and press buttons in peace. Which is helping. I might still get kicked and if I do, then oh my gosh. I drew, I drew a walk away from y'all. You're welcome. It's RNG at the end of the day. Only having one person outside the base means that you have less chance for it to really be beneficial, but it's still good. Because as we just saw... I knew it! It's so funny! People are so smart. Players of video games are so intelligent, dude. I just typed out what was like what I could do. It just happened. And the guy just goes, uh, Not on my watch, man. You don't know how the game's played. If we're all on the base, we're going to lose. I've been through it many a time. It took me, I think out of 30 matches when, when this game first came out, on this mission type, out of 30 matches, my team with randoms won three times. The video juego has been out for almost three months now, and players still don't get that maybe you shouldn't be holding hands on the objective as a full team, seeing Kumbaya if you want to do well in the mission. And riddle me this, Batman, why would there be over 20 samples on a single POI on this mission? In most cases, there's 15 plus on multiple POIs if you're meant to be in the objective for the majority of the match. That doesn't make any sense, but here's how the mission's supposed to be played. I fucking hate these missions. The play is to have at least two folks not on the objective. Otherwise, everything goes to the objective and makes it almost impossible. No, everybody objective. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, true, true, true. Oh, okay. No, okay. That's smart. That's big brain, actually. I didn't think of that. That's why we were running out there dying. Oh, yeah, okay. we're like way out okay. here trying to shoot at shit. And you'll keep pulling it back to the <laughs> objective. Okay, well, so yeah, so if we all like run away for a second, it'll pull them mainly out here. Enemy patrol. Got a patrol on the boat. I joined this mission six minutes late. At the time, they had seven folks evacuated and the base was overran. I gave them advice, they took it. We beat the mission in another six minutes and 30 seconds. All I'm saying is, you can't sit there and say it doesn't work. When they land on the base, chances are they won't quite like my shenanigans. Them dying instantly is a bad sign. I have this feeling, almost a sixth sense. Can we respawn 03? Pretty please. There's a concerning correlation between folks that have a terrible build, die first as well as often, and telling me how to play the game. Brother, don't bring that loadout and tell me what to do. You're throwing and I'm cool with it. I'm helping and you're not cool with it. I had a feeling. Oh my god! People are so... Oh my gosh. They're so built different. Homie dies. Okay, homie dies, lickety split, and it's my fault. He's like, uh, what can I blame right now? What can I blame? I know this guy's farming samples. Oh, these farmers. Gosh, this community has been host left the game. That's probably getting kicked, but little bro's an idiot. This community has been ruined by idiots. When the game first started, you had all these folks complaining about meta this, meta that, all these farmers, all oh, they're ruining the game. They didn't even know how the game functioned. Let me guess though. Just host your own lobbies, bro. Just if I if everyone hosts their own lobby, guess what's not gonna happen? No one's playing with other people. If everyone is hosting their own lobby, who's going to join the host lobby? Now, Doe, you haven't even given playing on the objective a chance. I have many times, but for sake of argument, I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like with a pretty decent squad. Eat it by itself makes no sense, but we'll go and ignore that real quick. I'm doing the rocket ship thing. I just got here, guys. Give me a moment. Boom, boom. I'm doing auto cannon here in reality, and then mortar here, and then eagle strike. Is nobody going off to gather this stuff? They click the buttons. That's actually genius. I didn't even think about it. 
and they tossed in a supply pack. These guys are professionals. These guys are professionals. If we can't beat it with this squadron, I don't know what to say. So far, this squadron is a well-oiled machine, throwing down supply packs instantly, covering different points in the base, providing good overwatch, and pressing buttons as a unit. Normally, it's just me pressing buttons and the whole team's on the ledge saying, good job, bud. Hey, man, that one's green. Go ahead and hit it one more again. Ridiculous. Uh, sir, your turret's dead regardless. It shot itself. No! 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 I'm in a dangerous spot. Thug grenades are nuts. What if we had an upgrade for mortars and sentry turrets that gave it a bubble shield? Nothing crazy. Nothing too strong. I want to go farm samples. But that would make it so the rockets don't instantly break your stuff, which just feels really lame. They can still break it, it just wouldn't be an instant one rocket KO, you're donezo. I'm thinking right there again. If we make a big enough hole, it'll be protected. This wasn't particularly the example I was going for. In fact, I may do it again to paint the picture that I want to paint it. Because I'm the artist here. We're at 614 and it's all starting to crumble right before our eyes. You can't break this building, bro. Oh my god, he can't! Listen, team, this mortar could do a few things. One thing they'll do for sure is grief you guys beyond belief. So this is kind of what happens. We had the loadout. Oh my goodness. That was going so well until it wasn't. G4, you landed in the wrong spot. You could have pivoted. So if you die here, it's not my fault. I refuse to take any blame. We are two away. Wow. That was a terrible eco strike. Calling in reinforcements. Request a move to deploy reinforcements. Have it north. He has to die. I have to live. Huge. I was trying to reload my gun. I thought this stuff would hit them. We lost that. I'm just saying, brother. Maybe it makes more sense to have less enemies on the objective. Maybe. Just maybe, you know? It's not alcohol. Maybe a bell cap opener. This is mineral water. This ball cap opener is not great. Tell you what, it keeps bending this side, but I'm not actually taking it off. Um, are we landing over here and then what are we doing? Go now and fear the shadow of You look for samples. Just so we're clear, we're noticing the dropships landing near me, right? Five minutes left. We can't stay we have all these folks, longer, we've, we've gotten the objective right now, and the dropships went to me. Two dropships. Three, a whore, potentially five, waiting. Five, they increased the dropships on this mission, 
Six. Seven. They increased the dropship count. That's what happened. That's why this feels so much more difficult than the bugs. Seven dropships just went to me and not the objective. Well, they tried to go to me. So how can anyone argue and say, if you're farming samples, you're throwing the mission, stop farming. I'm helping the mission and getting you samples and super credits and medals and requisition slips. I don't know how folks can have a problem with that. I guess they really enjoy wasting 15, if not 17 minutes. That's their favorite thing in the entire universe. And you know, who am I to judge? A single set of dropships going away from the base is roughly a minute of time bought. And it only takes you five to six minutes max to send in all the dudes if you don't kill them. Oh, we've killed 675 shekels worth of people. Huh. That explains some things. That explains a little bit. Charif be told. If they don't beat this mission, that is perplexing. If they don't, I blame it on the fact that one dude didn't even have any weapons and the other guy had a Quasar cannon. The Quasar is not the play. It's just not the play on the bots in this, in this situation. And I wanted to sit there and fight on the base, so I built my build around a base build. And it turns out they, they wanted me to go get samples. And I'll oblige. Truth be told, this mission makes no sense against the automatons right now. It's much better and easier against the bugs. You can consistently beat the mission and get max samples. The automatons, not so much. And that's only changed recently. I used to love facing automatons. Play how you want to play. My point here isn't to say that you need to play this by splitting up and doing whatever. Do what you want to do. If you have a full squadron and you want to play the objective, do that. But don't tell other people not to do certain things, especially if they're good for the mission success. That's goofy. Makes no sense. Play how you want to play, but don't tell me or other folks how to play if they're helping the mission with what they're doing. That's the main point. I will be making a video covering the best way to farm samples as a group on the bug missions. It's not too crazy, but I figured may as well show the success rate I had with random people. I don't have a friend group I play this game with. I play with randoms all the time. So you can do it with random people too. Why is there a, go, a whole ramp was gone? Go, 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 go. And now we will wait. Get it. You guys <laughs> killed the other people because- We didn't, no, no, they <laughs> left, bro. They they gave yeah, up yeah, after they yeah. were dead, but they we still gave up. Yeah, yeah, we don't work with Super Earth anymore. Uh, we defected. Yeah. Okay, we're freedom fighters. Yeah. <laughs> we're just humble sample farmers. What can I say? <laughs> exactly. I'm scared to be next to my teammates. My team killed, not on purpose, but just accidentally. Oh no. Oh no. There's no oh, way he not, killed me, bro. Me. Listen, there's samples on the ground. The samples matter more than extracting. Where? On my body. On my body. Good luck, man. Good luck. Huge. You killed the whole Hey, there goes the big guy. <laughs> Easy. Oh, oh look at that. Pro strap. Big brain. <laughs> oh my god. It's parked right over a mine. Like the least earned death ever is walking over these mines. Sometimes they're blending in so well with the shrubs, it's insane. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!